Peace and blessings, family. It's me, Coach 67 Sports TV. Shout out to the awesome and amazing LDBC, Lions Den Broadcasting Community. Shout out to the Louisiana All-American Sports Network. Last but definitely not least, shout out to the greatest university in the world, the Southern University, home of the mighty Jaguars. Uh, this is my post-game reaction to Southern University's 22 to 19 overtime win over Texas Southern. Uh, truthfully speaking, I'm an individual that's an optimistic person. I see the glass being half full as opposed to half empty. And I try to see the, the brighter things. I try to see the positive in every situation, but I'm not even gonna lie, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I was thoroughly unimpressed and I wasn't moved by Southern University's win over Texas Southern last year, uh, Joshua Griffin made a 54 yard field goal to send the game in the overtime against Texas Southern. And then the first play from, scrim from scrimmage uh, after Southern made a stop, Kendrick Grimes, uh, he ran a touchdown first play from scrimmage. This year, uh, Joshua Griffin, he made a field goal to win the game in overtime but just like last year, I felt like it shouldn't have came down to a Joshua Griffin miracle field goal. Prior to that, a couple miracle defensive plays from Southern to get to that point, I felt like it was the same way yesterday. It shouldn't have, it should not have come to the point where Southern had to win in overtime. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, a win is a win. I'm happy with the win. Now, if you tell me, coach, Southern University is going to win every game the rest of the season the way they went won yesterday against Texas Southern. I will be cool with that. I will take that. However, if you live on the edge long enough, eventually you're going to fall over the edge. And that's my issue with Southern. Uh, in terms of offensively, Southern University's offense is anemic. Uh, Noah, I'm thoroughly unimpressed with him as a quarterback. The problem is when he does make good passes and make good plays, his wide receiver drops the ball. And <laughs> the rest of the time, he doesn't make good plays. You know, and then Zay, who I think is the future starting quarterback at Southern, I mean, I think he's the guy right now, in my opinion. As soon as he get in the game, he throw a pick six. It was kind of almost flashback of the spring game when he got in the game and right away he threw an interception the only difference is the defensive back was caught on a two three yard line but yesterday he scored so at the end of the day like you know southern they don't look impressive offensively it's not like southern university of old where you have a dominant offensive line where you could just lean on your opposition and just pound the ball at will like, you don't have that type of offensive line. You don't have that type of running game. And in terms of the quarterback play, like I said, I'm, un I'm un unimpressed by Noah. And, you know, the quarterback play just across the board isn't looking good. I mean, at least when it comes to Zay, I give him some grace because he's been out. You know, he's, you know, finally back healthy. And they threw him in the game yesterday. But still in all, you know, Southern is just not the Southern of old. Uh, defensively, you know, Kelby Givens, he a dog. Uh, you know, Dad McCotton made a good play yesterday. And I think at times, you know, defensively, the defense makes some good plays, but they're not the dog, they're defensive old. And then the bigger problem you have is the fact that your offense is so anemic that you constantly leave the defense on the field and constantly leaving the defense on the field like you allow the opposing offense just to move the ball on them so at the end of the day like it's a difficult situation uh you know people talk about you know in one of these facebook groups i'm in southern university facebook groups you know basically they were saying that you know terrence graves has to has to make some some difficult choices in the next coming weeks and he has to make me personally i think he has some difficult choices to make like now immediately like, what you do in the interim, like right now, like, you know. But 
you know, they were saying in the offseason, he has to make some difficult decisions. No, no, no. I think, in my opinion, the chancellor has to make some difficult decisions in the offseason because point blank, bottom line, period. Let me just be honest and be blunt and point blank. Like, I've never been a proponent of saying, hey, this guy needs to be let go. This guy needs to be fired, so on and so forth. I'm going to give Coach Graves some, some grace because at least – in this situation, he inherited a bad situation. He was on the staff, so he knew like what deficiencies they had. I think he should have been more equipped to address it. But at this point, this is on the chancellor. Your tough decision is you need to fire Roman Banks ASAP, like immediately. The reason being is because if you don't get rid of Roman Banks, like your football program and your athletic program is going to continue to be mediocre. Southern University has not won a SWAC championship in football since 2013. This is 2024. It's been over 10 years. So at this point, uh, the chancellor, the president, all these, you know, administrators, y'all need to make this difficult decision just to part ways with Roma Banks. Because truthfully speaking, as an athletic program, like Southern University is trash. We mediocre at this point. And I'm going to just be truthful. Like, you just need to... Get rid of him. You need to clean the house all the way down. And, you know, maybe you could say from a football program standpoint, you give him some grace, but I'm not even going to lie. Like, uh, one of the people that sit in my section for Southern University home games on the east side, basically they were saying, like, hey, you need to move in a different direction. You need to hire somebody like Andre Johnson to be the head football coach. And initially, I'm like, well, you just hire Coach Graves. I mean, you really probably not in a financial position to do that. But at the end of the day, when you really sit back and think about the situation, like, you know, you may have some validity to that argument because uh, your football program has been mediocre. You have not won a SWAT championship since since 2013. And truthfully speaking, if you keep going about things the way you've been going about things and, uh, you know, the same old good old boy network, hey, I'm going to hire him because he's my fat frat brother. Uh, I'm going to uh, hire him because me and him are friends. We buddies. We cool. We friendly. Whatever the case may be, you're going to keep getting the same trash results. So if you go about things the same trash way, you're going to keep getting the same trash results. And at the end of the day, like, you know, we piss excellence at Southern University. So, you know, it's time to get back to the winning ways. You know, it's time to go back to being an elite team in the SWAC. You know, I'm tired of just being one of the blue bloods. I want to sit at the head of the table at this point. And I think you need to start with Roma Banks and you just need to kind of clean house all the way down, you know, to get what you want. Because at, at the end of the day, like, you know, at this point, Jay State done surpassed you, Alcorn, Prairie View, Grambling, everybody has surpassed Southern as far as I'm concerned. To me, the only way you can make up for this mediocre season, especially that pathetic, terrible, Display a football against Nickel State University where you lost 51-7. to The only way you can make up for that, Coach Graves, in football program is if you run a table in the SWAC, you win a SWAC championship, and you win the Celebration Bowl. Other than that, I don't rescind none, none of what I said. I take back none of what I said. Unless you could do those things, then you just kind of need to clean your house. But that's it for this video. you find any value in this video. Please like the video, share the video, comment in the comment section, subscribe to the channel. Also click the notification bell so you can be alerted anytime I post any new videos. And remember, this coming week is homecoming. I'm doing a big Baju Classic ticket giveaway uh, for those individuals that's subscribed or going to subscribe to my channel. Uh, the goal is to get to at least 500 subscribers, but the ultimate goal is to get to a thousand and then push our way forward after that. So for uh so at home coming this week, uh I'm gonna have a raffle, I'm gonna give away two buy you classic tickets. So y'all be on the lookout for that. In addition to that, go check out my brother's channel, Jared Eleven Green, Southern Baller Show, today at 3 30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Uh also go check out my brother Brent Fox. Uh, with his show, It's Just Me, on his channel. Uh, go check out my brother, Supreme Beast Boxing Talk, Cadillac Red. 
Supreme Beast Boxing Talk and Supreme Beast After Hours. And also go check out my brother, 7A Sports TV, the LDBC General. That's the backup channel. Y'all go check out all my LDBC brethren. And also go check out uh, the Louisiana All-America Sports Network. We've partnered up together this season. You know, I do commentary on Friday night football games for them. So check out all of these individuals that I rock with and support. Catch y'all on the rebound. Peace and blessings.